Hi guys, welcome back to another FSD 12.5.1.1 video. We are gonna be uh, doing some local driving and we'll be testing some things on the highway as well. In my previous videos, I found a way to, you know, change some settings on the highway. So when we hit the highway, I'm gonna, you know, change some settings and see if the car is gonna stay in the middle lane, right? So that's what we're gonna test and then again like we'll be testing some uh, of the regular stuff as well uh, We're gonna be testing the stop sign stop lights, you know and other scenarios that are gonna come along the way So stay tuned for that and also if you are new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't already and uh, You know do check some other content out on the channel as well on that note Let's focus on the driving as you're seeing they're stopping at the stop sign and it's creeping forward slowly and it made the move so you can see no issues at all with FSD 12.5.1.1 it is pretty much like um, you know no intervention kind of driving unless you really want to change some things like you know you don't want to follow the route that navigation is taking and want to take over then you can basically you know disengage or if you see any potholes you might want to take over at that point but rest pretty much you will notice that it is pretty much you know uh intervention less kind of driving if you're not gonna come across like a really unexpected kind of scenario so we'll see in this video as well uh how far we can go without like touching the yoke and keep providing your feedback as you've been doing in the past on these videos um, any new use cases or anything like we'll be testing it as well so we are approaching another stop sign and we're gonna be making a right from here so as you notice like the car slowly came in the perfect lane right lane and then stopping at the stop sign as it should and like let's see how much time it's gonna take here so it's just creeping forward now and started to move so you have noticed probably that like you know if you compare this with the previous version of the fsd like when we were on the 12.3 stack especially on the 12.3.6 it was taking a little bit of time when you were you know reaching a stop sign and like you know when the car was picking up again it's not the case at all with 12.5.1.1 this like I think is the best version of FST so far and especially with this uh, you know tension monitoring system now you don't have to do much at all just sit, be sit behind the wheel and you know just pay attention that's what you should be doing other than that like you know the car is pretty much gonna take you from point A to point B without any problem so I only only have good things to say about uh, this version of FST although there are some minor things which uh, are a, I send feedback to Tesla and like you know uh, I hope they are gonna address some of the things in the coming uh, version upgrades I already know that 12.5.1.2 is in works right now it's not released to general public yet but uh, you know that is the next version of FST that might be coming and you know I'll be making videos about that too but uh, you know the minor things that I mentioned right are like pothole detection and like you know um, you know like if, if you uh, come across like on the highway like you know without like changing the setting that we're gonna change today uh, it it basically try to drive on the far left lane but there's a way around which I'm gonna show you in later in this video when we're gonna hit the highway uh, and that basically is a fix for me right now and I'm fine with that it works perfectly fine tested it a few times too so I'll show you guys when we hit the highway but uh, I think uh, they are also updating the stack for the highway driving it was on the older stack so that is something I think which is still getting better but if you take if you take into account the local driving or like you know like you see uh, how car is driving right now there's no issues at all I don't think there's any any you know even like you know uh, minor problems that I have noticed so far other than the you know potholes going over the potholes that's it and let me know also like what version of FSD are you on are you on 12.5.1.1 yet or you're still on the prior versions because you will definitely notice 
like a big difference when you move from 12.3.6 to the 12.5 stack yeah and let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below also if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing this is relatively a smaller channel and i try to make regular videos around fst so if that is something you are interested in and want to see the latest version of fsds and how they drive please consider subscribing and checking some other content out also i try to keep these videos uncut um, with minimal editing so that you guys can see exactly what happened in a certain situation um, you know i just want to show you uh, things as is so if fsd is going to make a mistake you know you'll see that it's making a mistake i'm not gonna change anything so just want to throw it out there so far so good no issues at all as you can see very smooth so far so about about like I think in two miles we are gonna take the highway and I'll let the FST first decide which lane it's gonna stick to maybe things have changed if it's still sticking to the far left lane then I'll show you my workaround and show you how to keep the car in the middle lane while still using the FST today we have enough battery to make this video <laughs> I tried to shoot this uh, video last time as well uh, going through the highway but you know my battery was not very supportive of that so I ended up scratching the whole video so I'm just recording again today traffic as you can see in the front you see this yellow light so we passed through it because it was not going to turn red and I'll, I have demonstrated in my previous videos with this 12.5.1.1 stack if uh, you are like um, running through an orange light and you know uh, it's it, it FSD feel like that it's it's not gonna make it it won't try to even attempt that it will stop and slow down but in this case it was perfectly fine and you'll see that if you you know um, if you come across more scenarios like that otherwise I have videos uh, on 12.5.1.1 in previous videos I did cover that uh, in, in the orange light uh, it when it stopped and when it actually did not stop uh, both scenarios were perfectly fine and I, I would have done the same thing while if I was driving the car myself so a lot of good things on this version guys so give it a try once you have this you will not be disappointed Also, I think Tesla is coming up with, uh, actually they already came up with some kind of uh, upgrade uh, or like an offer for FST, I think uh, for Model S and X. If you want to get a three year plan, you can do that for $5,000, which is inclusive of free supercharging, uh, premium connectivity and full self-driving. I, uh, although like I have full self-driving, that, 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 that would have been another option. Like if you want to keep the car for only three years, you can actually go for that too. I bought the car, I usually keep my cars for five years plus, 
so you know i bought the full fsd but i didn't buy the fsd uh when i bought the car i just upgraded it afterwards when they dropped the price so initially i bought the car with enhanced autopilot uh, but now i have full self-driving when they started offering the service for eight thousand dollars Okay, so our turn is coming up. We're gonna be taking the highway, as you can see. So far, I have done nothing, and the car have been driving on its own. So now, uh, I'm just gonna go in my suspension. If you've been following this channel, I always try to bring my suspension back to medium when I hit the highway, because, um, you know, uh, it, if, you, if you drive on low, not really great for your tires so I did this now I'm gonna go into autopilot set in just in case so let's see first where the car decides to go right so it's changed changing lanes and it from far right it came to the middle lane I'll change my settings if I see that it's sticking to the far left lane we're right now going to the speed limit it's 55 but actually it's 65 you can go up until like 70 here so just set it to 69 the car is staying in the middle maybe it's learning I would say like because uh, last time when I came on this road it was sticking to the left lane and I ended up you know turning this setting on minimal lane changes for current drive so as you can see this is off right now and the car is staying in the middle lane so this is really good guys okay. things are improving every time I drive like so I don't have to turn the setting on today because it's driving in the middle lane I would have done middle lane driving here as well I usually don't speed try to stay within the speed limit when I'm on the highway and I want the FSD to do the same thing but in the past it would have just gone into the far left lane and would have just stayed there although still staying within the speed limit but uh, it was not coming in the middle lane even if you try to bring it in the middle lane it would jump back to the left as well again so so far I didn't do anything you guys see everything is fine it's driving on its own detecting other people's patterns as well this person was trying to come in this middle lane but then changed his mind probably had its signal on okay. Okay, but if you are feeling that like you know in 12.3.6 version if you are seeing that the car is sticking to the uh, far left lane when you want it to be in the middle lane turn this setting on minimal lane changes for current drive and it's not gonna be changing the lane and going into the fast lane every single time so I didn't do it today because you can see it's driving perfectly fine And FSD did not make a single mistake on this drive so far. So keep an uh, you know eye on that too. That's like a big thing. I always like notice some minor things every time I am driving. Okay, so now it's trying to go in the left lane because the person in front of us is going really slow, and you know it would. It, it's a logical thing right now to go in this lane. which is fine yeah with this kind of traffic I would have been in this lane anyways and we're going around like the speed limit which is 70 I told you we can go over like 5 over speed limit is fine actually the 65 speed limit so if 
5 to 10 is okay. You don't get a ticket for that. Okay, so let me just put my camera on. If you see, this car is right behind me, this truck. And our car is like still sticking to the far left lane. I would say it's still fine because if we come in the middle lane right now we would have been stuck behind the traffic anyways so I don't think anything was done wrong so far everything is good so look at this guys this guy just tried to come in my car started slowing down for a little bit very gradually but then it picked it up again So I'm gonna show you now. Let me just come in the middle lane myself. We'll go to that setting, autopilot, and minimal lane changes for this. Now the car is gonna stay in the middle lane. So this is something I would have wanted the car to do on its own. It didn't, so I just did it myself. Now with this setting, your car is gonna stick in this lane for majority of your, your trip. So you have that option just wanted to show you guys if you're coming across these kind of scenarios you can always do that so our exit is coming in almost like one mile car is coming in the far right lane so we gotta take the exit in 0.7 miles and as you can see no issues at all so far so good I didn't do anything the car drove by itself the whole route and after the exit I think we have to do a little bit of local drive and then we'll be at our destination okay so we gotta take this 40b exit Let's see if the car is going to slow down. It's starting to slow down on its own. And it should start giving a signal as well for turning. I don't see that yet. Okay, so here we go. The signal to turn. Coming in the lane for the exit. And we are exiting. Speed is slowing down. We are at a good distance from the curb as well. Perfect exit, perfect turn. Okay, so we're gonna come in the middle lane because this one goes to the exit. We are not taking the exit back onto the highway right now. So guys, this is like if you, if this is this hasn't blown your mind, I don't know what else would cause this is completely completely autonomous driving without zero intervention like I haven't done anything at all except for the middle lane that I changed but I didn't even have to do that I could have just you know gone by what FST was deciding it was just my preference but as you can see how far this has come right I, I do think we are very near to see driverless cars from Tesla as well so robo taxi is on the cards i won't be surprised if it's gonna be launched any you know uh, anytime like in coming months or so but fsd for consumers it's really really at a different level now uh, you know you can definitely use it for your day daily drive daily commute and all those things so really good really i'm really impressed with the job that tesla have done and then tesla engineers have done uh, to make it and like bring it to this level of autonomy right so this is really great so guys if you have liked this video please consider subscribing we are almost at our destination and um, you know I will be seeing you guys in future videos as well so don't forget to comment like share subscribe all of those good things 
on that note, I'm going to see you in the next one.